spiritual eyes. You see through them. So if Satan, listen, if Satan can change the picture that you have of your man or woman of God, where you hold, you hold them in high esteem, you begin, that begins to diminish because of what you are exposed to. Because, listen to me. We're going to go to the scriptures in a minute. This is why honor is so vitally important. Because today's society is about pushing personality. Listen to me, saints. All of you that belong here, God didn't call your pastor to be your friend. He didn't call your bishop to be your friend. He called them to be the bishop and the pastor. But what has happened with today's society, everything is personality driven. So what happens, listen to me. So what happens, we begin to lose focus as to what we should be looking at. Rather than looking at the office that they walk in, we begin to look at the individual. And when we begin to look at the individual, we begin to bring them down to our level. You know what happens? You begin to hurt yourself. It is, it is, it is your responsibility to know who, you, who you're under. Paul said, listen, even though the apostles once knew the Lord in the flesh, he said, but from this day forward, we know him no more by the flesh. Right. We, only know the, we only know the Lord by the spirit. You don't want to know your pastor and your woman of God by the flesh. Right. You want to know them after the what? The spirit. spirit. Stop trying to know your man and woman of God after the flesh. It's hurting you. Is putting you in a compromising position to get offended. And the Lord put in my spirit, where you're going, listen, where you guys are headed, there are going to be people coming in behind you. And if you don't get it right, they're going to pass you by. God has no respect of persons. Listen to me. But the people going to come in, they're going to honor the man right, and they're going to pass you right by. And you're going to wonder why they're being so blessed. I knew the pastor longer than them. It had nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with how they see the man and woman of God. Jesus said the last shall be first and the first shall be last. 